decided that I wanted to connect some dots for some people because apparently last night I connected a whole bunch of them. It's like this. If you... Have you ever been woken up in the middle of the night with a thought and say, Oh, I gotta get up and check this out. And here I wake up in the middle of the night with the thought GMO. Have you ever? If you haven't, be thankful because you will get a good night's sleep. You have no idea how much information is out there on YouTube, if you Google it, on GMOs. What they do, who's doing them, and why they're bad. They're very bad. In fact, I think after all these years, I'm, I may be putting together why I am so sick. People keep telling me when I go to the doctors, they keep saying, GMOs, oh wow, um, no such thing. And I say, okay. And they say to me, I say to them, why, why am I having fibromuscular dysplasia? Where does that come from? Oh, we don't know. But we're pretty sure it's genetic. I said, genetic, but nobody in my family has had that. Oh, then it must be, uh, uh, cigarette smoke. You did smoke, right? Yes. That's what did it. But I haven't smoked in 20 years. Oh. Well, have you been exposed to smoke outside? I go, well, sure. But I don't hang around. I get asthma. Well, that's it. Okay. Fine. Then I was told, I went to another doctor, I said, well, okay, you tell me I've got Crohn's disease, I've had a heart attack, I've got muscular, this fibromuscular dysplasia, so what am I supposed to do with all this? Live a happy life and don't worry about it. Okay, so fibromuscular dysplasia can cause an aneurysm in my brain at any time, but I should be happy and wait for an event like that. Or... The Crohn's disease, if I miss a few pills, I will end up having a stroke or a heart attack or probably blown up from all the water I'll be intaking. Hmm, but no reason why I have it. Don't know, just have it. Okay. Uh, diabetes. Yeah, my parents had that. Okay, so you got me on that one. That's genetic. Um, Raynaud's disease. Nope, nobody in my family but me. Hi, I raised my hand. <laughs> And nobody in my family, and I've got so many cousins and uncles and whatchamacallits, you wouldn't believe. So, what could have caused this all in such a short period of time? Are you thinking what I'm thinking? In 1996, the food market started accepting GMOs to cook with and to put into the foods that we eat, into bread into fast food. Right now it's into a big amount of food, especially fast food and canned foods. In fact, I was freaking out because it's very hard to find tuna in a can without soy. Huh. Why would soy be in a can of 100% tuna fish? Well, because it's not all tuna. Have you noticed that your tuna lately has been mushy when you go to make it? I know, this is silly. It has nothing to do with what I'm talking about, or does it? Yeah, we were eating a lot of stuff in 96, 97, 98, especially me. I was a mom with three kids to raise, and I had to look for quick solutions because I had three jobs to work. Yeah, three. So... Oh, came 98, I got a heart attack. Stress. Why did I get the heart attack? Well, we don't know. Genetic. Huh. So why did I get the heart attack? Because your family members have it? Oh, okay. So I let that go because, yeah, my dad had a heart attack. Okay. But then, in... 2000, I got breast cancer. Well, why'd I get that? Oh, I have an aunt who's a distant cousin's daughter who had breast cancer. Ah, okay. But I caught it early, and it's out of my life. Thank you, God. But then, I, I'm a big advocate for early detection. By yourself, do it. Don't let them smash your boobs on those machines. 
If you see that you really need to have it checked, then check it. Anyway, um, I'll probably get a lot of flack for that. Anyway, um, when I go on to discuss this, i got to get off that track. Because I get very upset when I think about that time in my life. So, I'm going to move on. Um, so, I have breast cancer. But, thankfully, it was taken away. Thank you. Then, I'm being told I had glaucoma. I said, well, heck no. That I'm not believing. I went and I had 50 million tests. And all I have are large discs in the back of my eyes. And I'm fine. In fact, I just had a test the other day. And I'm fine. So, I ain't buying that one. But they did try to talk me into it. To give me eye drops that would have caused blindness. I'm so happy I didn't take them. But what about the people out there who are taking them? Hmm. So I'm moving on. And then I get Raynaud's phenomenon. Hmm. Major attack of asthma. Had to leave New York. And now, and, and the Raynaud's, I can't be in the cold, cold. So that was a major thing. And then I moved to Florida, and a couple of years go by, and I'm constantly having breast surgery. I get my voice traumatized. It took me two years to get my singing voice back, and that was hard work. But I thank God that I got it back. Some people don't. So be careful who you let do surgery on you because of the breathing pipes, what they do and how they do it. Anyway, long story short, we'll move on. So I came here and had that problem, and then all of a sudden I had a stroke. That was 05. Then they tell me that I have a rare disease. It's called fibromuscular dysplasia. And that's in my other videos update. Uh, or you don't want what I got. So you can go there, because I'm not repeating that story again. But I got that. And then, um, the next thing they tell me, I have Crohn's disease. And then they tell me I have diabetes. Well, I'm racking them up. <laughs> like, ooh, one rare disease here. Oh, let me go to the store. I'll buy this rare disease there. I'll buy this one here. I'll buy that one there. Well, I kind of think I did in a strange way. Because this is kind of leading back to the doctor's answers. It's genetic. <laughs> you know, a person can look you straight in the eye and lie and tell you something and you could take the wrong meaning from it and I think I did. Because genetic could mean GMOs. And GMOs are all over the place and since 1996 they've been introduced to our food supply. And since 1998, two years later, I started getting sick. I was this young, beautiful, healthy, robust, physically strong female. And all of a sudden, I had a heart attack. I was scared to death. The doctors would tell me there's nothing wrong with me. What? <laughs> I had a heart attack? And then, that's a good one. They try to tell you nothing's wrong with you. And then later, they come back and say, Oh, you had a heart attack. <laughs> and oh, you've got this. And oh, you've got that. But first they tell you, there's nothing wrong with you. Have a nice life. I remember before I had the heart attack, two weeks earlier, I went to a doctor because I had been out in the street cold calling, doing my work, and I got dizzy. I got so dizzy. I went to the phone to call my kids, and all of a sudden I got dizzy. I was, wow, what's going on? I couldn't hardly breathe. So I called my kids, checked on them, and then I called the doctor, and immediately went to his office, checked me out, said, oh, you're fine, I'm fine, okay, huh, maybe it was an anxiety attack, he said, oh, okay, that's possible, I got to get bills paid, so, two weeks later, I had a heart attack, <laughs> anxiety, yeah, so anyway, then let's move on, um, everybody kept telling me genetic, but what were they really talking about GMOs, I don't know, but I've got fibromuscular dysplasia of the carotid arteries, very rare disease. I've got Kahn's disease, which is another rare disease. People have it. 
Some don't know about it and die, and those that do live to tell about it, like me. With the cons, with the fibro. Oh, they do mix it up with Crohn's. They go, oh, no, 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 you're talking about Crohn's. I go, oh, no, 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 I'm talking about cons. C-O-N-N-S. Google it. Um, it does exist. And then the third point is I've got diabetes. I had a heart attack. I've got Raynaud's. And I said, well, where does this all end? Again, connect the dots. Here we go, folks. GMOs. I'm ingesting this stuff. Did you know cancer is a virus? Yeah, and they can inject that into something we eat, and it becomes part of you, and it grows. Yeah, they don't want you to know that, especially some cancers. But hey, I'm going to go to my proof. You know, you do your fact-finding, and you do, now you say, well, how can I prove this? How is it, how can I prove that if I eat fast food and junk, I get sick? And if I don't, I get healthy. Well, that answer is obvious. Start eating organic food. So in 09, they did surgery on my neck. It is now 11. Two years I have been eating organic food. Non-pesticide, bitch. <laughs> Non-antibiotics, non-growth hormones. I've lost 65 pounds. Yeah. No crazy diet. And nothing's growing. This whole side has remained clear for two years. It's still at 0%. Now this side was at 40 and seems to have dropped between 30 and 40. So maybe it was just a reading that day, but you know what? It hasn't gone up. So you got to wonder what would happen if I went back to eating fast foods and all that kind of junk. Should I find out for you? Heck no. Because heart attacks hurt, fibromuscular dysplasia can kill me at any second. And Raynaud's hurts. And so does Kahn's disease. You feel this bloating and bloating and bloating, and you go, oh my God, I feel so sick. And you don't even know why. Well, that's because the water is not leaving your body. And that's how you get a stroke. That's what happened to me. So anyway, long story short, people, demand and write to your congressman, the president, food chains, Stand up for your rights. Ask for GMO labeling. Walmart is a hero. Ask for GMO and labeling from them. They have gone into the organic market. Can't afford organic food? Yes, you can. And guess what? Once you start eating organic, you don't eat that much because you're more satisfied. You're getting nutritious food instead of food that's filled with empty calories. And Walmart is a champion for that. And so is Target. A lot of you don't know. Target also offers a lot of organic food. So you don't have to go to an organic health store and pay through the nose. BJ's, they've got organic food. Yay, BJ's. I buy a lot of stuff in bulk. So what am I saying? I'm saying get off the treadmill. Stop being a guinea pig. And that's, that's, a, that's about it. Because right now I'm a guinea pig for all these diseases. And they're not going to see anything happen anymore with me. And I hope nothing will happen with you. And I hope you wake up to what I'm saying. And you start writing to your congressman and the president and ask for GMO labeling. A-S-A-P. And stop taking our food for granted. Take a stand. Buy organic. And sooner or later, the other companies will have to give organic. Because... They'll lose money if you don't buy their food, right? That's what I call the power of the green. Okay? You want to live green? Buy organic. Use your green to destroy the non-green, the bad stuff. Okay, now, think about that. You have a great and wonderful day. And remember, if it smells rotten, chances are there's a GMO in it. Have a great day.